Hi guys, welcome back. So by the time I post this video, it's actually my birthday. So happy birthday to me. I just created this grungy look for you guys today. It's my first time as well. If you guys are interested, keep on watching. I already put on my sunscreen and my primer already. So if you guys want to know what product I use, you guys can click on the previous video. First thing first, I'm actually gonna brush my eyebrows first instead of putting on my foundation. I'm going to be using the Refi Brow Sculpt. The reason why I'm using this one first is sometimes this can leave a white residue if it touches your foundation. So I wanna have a clear base first so I don't see those white fibers. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit so it gets tacky. Just brush your eyebrow up. I'm just gonna let this stay like this. I like how it looks. I don't need to do much with it. And I want to fill in the front part a little bit with some fake hair strokes. So I'm gonna use a tiny felt tip eyebrow pen. Very gently, if you do very hard strokes, it's gonna look too fake. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I'm very happy the way how my eyebrow looks right now. All right, now let's move on to the base. Since I'm gonna be going out, I should use the Shiseido foundation. Taking my Picasso spatula. Seriously, if you get this Picasso spatula, you really don't need to use that much foundation. Voila! I do want to brighten up this area, so I'm going to use a lighter concealer. I'll be using the Les Beige Touche de Temps foundation and concealer. It's a little bit on my finger. Like so. And I'm just going to dab the part where I want to brighten up smile lines do a dabbing motion so i think my foundation and my base is all right i'm just gonna powder my face today i'm actually gonna be using the same powder but in a different color i'm using the color zero to medium dab it off the back of my hand i start with the outside of my face first because i want less product towards the center of my face it will look less heavy. Set your eyes a little bit. I'm going to set my eyes because I am going to put on some eyeshadow today. Let's contour first, then move on to the eyes as usual. Taking a smaller brush, dab it into this one, which is a grayish contour color and blend out the harsh lines. Dab a little highlight on my nose. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now and I'm just gonna come back and see if I need to fix more makeup. Today's eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using this one. It's by Mario. It's their Master Matte eyeshadow palette. The finish of this eyeshadow palette is more on a sheer side, which I think is great for beginners like me. So if you make a mistake, it's easier to fix. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a grungier look. I'm going to use this color. I'm gonna sweep the whole color across my eyelids. Bring it all the way to my brow bone. I don't highlight my brow bone anymore. I used to do it all the time back in the day. Taking the same color, just bring it down to your under eyes. I'm going to deepen my lash line towards the end. I'm just going to drag it out a little bit. I'm going to take this reddish, reddish brown. No, actually, I'm going to use this one over here. It's going a little bit under here. I'm not going to curl my eyelashes yet because I'm going to put on my blush and see if it's too much. For my blush, I'm first going to use a low saturated blush right here and then just put dab a little bit color right at the highest part of my cheekbones to make it a little bit more flat. Putting it on the highest point of my cheekbones right here. M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow in the color Faded Clementine. I'm only dabbing it right here. Don't dab anything right at this area yet. 
take a smaller brush, whatever that you have. I'm going to put it at the area where I told you guys not to put. So it has more of a 3D effect. Taking another whatever fluffy brush I have. Oops, I think I went a little too heavy handed. Let me just blend it out. I'm gonna take my puff, blend out the harsh edges. Just let it blend in with the skin. Okay, now the lips. I'm going to use Lip Mud in EM05. It looks like this on the hand. I'm going to fix my nose contouring a little bit more. I'm going to take a smaller detail brush and emphasize the tip of my nose. My makeup is pretty much done. I'm going to take a highlighter and then dab it at the inner corner of my eyes. And yeah.